ITR boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. So I'm gonna, you guys watch um, this video. So Bruno. Oh. Um, that's a guy. Oh, this, hit this, the play button. Oh, that's we have to play. Wait, this who? Hit the play button. That's Victor Ruiz. Mm -hmm, Victor Ruiz. Oh, he got Beautiful not. left hand. Ooh, oh, there's a nice uh, boomba right there. You know what I mean? It's yeah. the, the punch. So that's a guy you fought, what, four or five years ago, Bruno? That's when, when, I, when I broke my hand on, on a 10 round fight. Um, April I, 14, I 2014. Right? Oh, right? No, no, April 5. I got the, the April surgery 5. April 14. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But um, I broke it on a third round, I think, and I fought him 10 rounds with one hand. When you see a <clears throat> prospect, in with a guy you'd fought and that happened, what do you think when you look at something like that? I don't know. You, I have, Mike, I want you to answer this one, man. Well, I mean, I mean, I, I mean it, it's tough opponents. I mean, opponents, this is what I think about. It. It's like um, you have people that Bruno was never, never signed, all right? We didn't have no promoter. Yeah, we had Don. We worked on the shows. Uh, the relationship that Herb, our manager Herb Stone had with Paco and Don was very important for Andy Vences and Jonathan Chicas and Bruno Escalante for us to get fights to help us build a career. But the fights were fights against guys who you, you have to get better with. You have to learn from and get better with, not just blow through. So there were some tough opponents man tough guys out there there's great great opponents out there guys like victor ruiz guys like uh dihulu Gin, guys like um that um uh, that bruno has fought they are if they had a real team real people like prospects have like guys that are signed they'd be world champions right if we would have had the opportunity it was like you know everybody say you know I remember when we fought Mike Ruiz in the second fight in Oakland. We're in a goddamn 16th Street station that hadn't been fucking out in West Oakland. Arnold was there. That was done <laughs> since. It hasn't, no one's been there since the earthquake of 89. That's when it shut that hub yeah. down. And we're doing a professional boxing match there. And, you know, everyone was like, so like, oh, you know, we, we beat Bruno in his house. We, we beat the... I'm like, dude, what are you talking about? We struggling just like you, man. They ain't nothing. It's the same thing. You don't have a promoter. You don't have anything like that. You're dead in the water, right? You're just trying to get the break. So a guy like Victor Ruiz, you see a fight like that where he took advantage again. He's still fighting. He took advantage. He was able to get a shot off on a, on a guy, up-and-coming guy. Yeah. Um, will it change his life? Uh I don't know. Will he get that guy's contract? No. Does it change his world? No. Will he get the next the shot now that that kid would have got? No. Yeah. You know, because he don't. They're gonna sign him. No. So it's wonderful to see him have success like that, but it's also what's gonna happen with that. Who's gonna help him parlay that into something better for his career? Who's gonna do that for him? Why is he still the? Why is he still the guy that's the opponent? You know what I mean? That's the kind of shit that you got to think some about. Bo some boxing fans need to understand that, you know, the losses means, and that, you know, like some, like uh, a, lot, a lot of fighters that have a lot of losses, doesn't mean they they suck. They just, you know, they might, might mismanage, have a bad manager that make them fight hard fights. And somebody like uh, Ruiz, the one just fought, the, uh, he got a lot of experience. When I fought him, he was 14 and two. That would be, he was supposed to be my, my toughest op opponent. And so, and then he got like, I don't know how many fights he got now. And he fights like a lot, a lot of uh, like undefeated fighters. So most of his losses lost to uh, good fighters. And mm -hmm. for somebody that just started um, boxing and then fought my uh, Ruiz, it's just big step up. So I mean, I wasn't surprised that he 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 knocked him out because of his experience.